Hello guys, Nader Animator here, and today I've got a story that'll take you back to my awkward, socially inept, and all-around weird time when I was a freshman in high school. So, you know, like, four years ago. So I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. I was in band in high school, and in band, I played the tuba. Which, by the way, is hands down the coolest instrument in the band, and you can fight me on that. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Come at me, trombones, come at me! But of course, you know, that's a topic I'll dive deeper into in another video. So, as a freshman, I was very shy and barely had any friends, except for this one trumpet player who, for the sake of her privacy, I'm going to call Silver. You'll know why if you knew me back then. Silver was a very funny, kind, and all-around awesome person to be around. But of course, being the fresh out of middle school, hormone-filled tween that I was, soon after our first meeting, I uh, started to develop feelings for her. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like my love life, or lack thereof, merits its own video. Oh wow, now I'm going to make two videos. But for now, all you need to know is that I was super awkward, played the tuba, and had a crush on this girl named Silver. Cool? Alright, so, anyone else who was in or who is in band knows that there are two seasons. Marching season, where we do parades and football game performances and stuff like that, and concert season, where we get to all sit down and play all the fancy music. This story takes place during marching season, so instead of playing the smaller, fancy, more familiar concert tuba, I had to wear and play the giant, uncomfortable sousaphone. What made it worse was that all the school sousaphones were made of this ugly white plastic that looked like junk compared to the other brass instruments. But hey, I shouldn't be complaining because we still sounded awesome and although we had one brass sousaphone, it literally weighed 10 times more than the plastic ones so thank god we weren't required to play that. Except for my senior year when we had 8 tuba players. <sighs> The low brass section sounded really good that year, but oh, man, I still got backaches from that. Anyway, so getting back to the story, my band would attend every school football game and perform before the game began and during halftime. We would do so on this, at the time, relatively small football field. I say that it was small back then because recently they rebuilt it and made it bigger with more stands and a wider playing area, but at the time there was barely any room for anyone to sit. The stands on either side of the field were very small and in between pregame and halftime the band would have to bunch up on the home side of the field and just cram together on a small four layer bench that only seated like 20 people. Of course, our band had way more than that, so some people would just stand off to the side or sit on the ground or whatever. So one night after we completed our pregame performance, I think this was during homecoming but I can't really remember, something really weird was going on inside of me. For some reason, the excitement of the whole show going well and the homecoming dance coming up and all of the exciting activities of the day and just everything happening in that moment just filled me with an abundance of confidence. More than I usually have because, again, I was a shy, socially inept weirdo. Still kind of am. Silver and I had been hanging out for several weeks, and I felt like even though it had been a month, tonight, tonight was going to be the night that I asked her out. <laughs> yes, I know how cringy that sounds. Again, I was a young, idiotic, hormone-filled tween with no concept of how love or the world worked back then. I, I was an idiot, okay, guys? <laughs> so after we got off the field, I went to go set down my tuba behind the trees that were behind the band bench so that no one would accidentally step or trip onto the tuba and then break it before halftime. Foreshadowing. I then saw Silver rush up to the top of the bench and before I could go and sit next to her, the rest of the seats filled up with other band members. But I was determined to get next to Silver and tell her how I felt and so I did something that looking back it was, it was very dumb. I leapt up onto the back of the bench and started climbing on the railings and stuff, but just before I could reach the top, just before I could ne get next to Silver, I felt my right foot slip off a railing. And then, it all happened. Oh my, oh my god. god. 
Why me? Why now? Why today? Oh, man, I, I really hope this doesn't cause too much damage. Are they still staring at me? Oh, jeez. Uh, what if I did cause a lot of damage? What if I can't play the tube at halftime? What if I get kicked out of band for breaking an instrument? Oh, God, no. No, I mean, the, the damage can't be that bad, right? Can it? Right? Right? I got up, took the tuba cover off, and saw a huge crack down the middle of the bell of the tuba. It looked bad. But I looked over the rest of the instrument, and it seemed fine. I even played a couple of notes and showed it to my band teacher, who said that it was okay enough to play for that night. But oh man, even during the show, all I could think about was that crack and how stupid I was right then. And, and is, are people still looking at me? What, what did Silver think? Ah! But it turns out that the show was great and you couldn't actually see the crack in the tuba when I had the cover on it. The band teacher ended up gluing the crack, which did absolutely nothing to keep it from still being cracked and cracking some more. But all in all, the situation was fixed as best as it could be. And at least the damage wasn't too severe to me or the instrument. Except for our mental and emotional state, but then again, you know, that's another video. Plus, I also had one of the nicest people on the planet as my band teacher. Thanks, Mr. Forte. See ya, Tuba Christmas. I really like telling this story to people because, although I was super embarrassed and scared when the situation was happening, every time I retell the story, I get to look back and just laugh about when I broke the tuba with my butt. <laughs> So anyways, if you're, if you're a tuba player going into my school and you get to play the sousaphone that has a crack in it, I just want you to remember this video and remember that I was the one that did that. I broke that tuba with my butt. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Also, on a more serious note, this could have been really extremely dangerous for, you know, my body or the instrument or, you know, my wallet. Like, a lot of things could have gone wrong. And so, uh, to avoid, you know, any potentially dangerous uh, situations or things that you're going to look back on and regret, you should probably think twice about what you're going to do before you do uh, that thing, unlike what I did in this story. And don't let the excitement of the moment or somebody you have a crush on on or you know hormones or anything else distract you from making good choices in your life that's today's moral because you don't want to end up like me you don't want to be the guy that's famous for breaking a tuba in high school with his butt all right so i'm just going to preface this end card by saying that i didn't mean to actually sound that rude and uh condescending when i was talking about the tubas and uh the band and like the whole school like that we actually have a really really good music program at our high school and honestly the band teachers are probably some of the nicest people i've ever met on this entire planet like seriously it, it was like an amazing school and yeah the tubas had like their problems like you know they had paint chips on them or there was like tape and they you know kind of looked pretty junky with you know some of the stuff that was all covered on them and stuff but all in all I think our school did a pretty good job providing the instruments and things necessary for the band members to do band and stuff like that and all things considered I mean tubas are really really expensive uh then again and I talked touched on this a little bit in the video um but they could have uh invested the money that they spent on the football field into getting you know more materials for the band or you know maybe improving the music and performance program because I mean let's be honest who really wanted the new football field I mean, did anyone really, really think that it was necessary? Oh, of course, you know, football coaches and all these sports people. But, okay, let's look at the big picture here. People are going to care and remember, uh, the things that people are going to care about and remember more in the future are going to be the performing arts and all sorts of the artsy stuff that happens in high school. No one's going to care about your football stuff or, you know, what JV, varsity, football, -y, big, tough, oh, I did this. Not. Yeah, no one's going to care if you were an athlete in high school. People will love you if, they were an, if you were an artist in high school. Or maybe I'm just super biased and kind of salty about my high school experience altogether. But uh, like I said, guys, I had I had a really, really awesome uh, high school experience and stuff. Uh, but uh, now, as you guys know, if you follow my Instagram and other social medias, I am in college, uh, which means that uploads will probably be a lot more infrequent than um, they than they used to be on the Notebird channel and my other YouTube channels and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and speaking of that, 
that I <laughs> I didn't really realize how infrequent I'd be able to upload on YouTube until I actually started college because guys holy cow uh, I SCAD is like SCAD keeps you really really busy throughout the quarter like I barely had time to work on this video at all and as you guys know I started this video in July and I was hoping to get it out you know maybe end of September mid-October or something it's the end of November so yeah clearly uh, college is keeping me pretty dang busy so I don't know how frequently I'll be able to upload while I'm in college and stuff but um, I'm gonna try my best to uh, keep getting animations and other fun videos out for you guys um, as much as I can and we'll see how frequently or regularly that'll be but um, just know that I am working on stuff but I also have a life <laughs> but um, anyways yeah that is pretty much the video I hope you guys really really enjoyed it because this took me uh, like I said a very uh, long time to make uh, but yeah and if you did like it be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Nader Animator content uh, this is Nader Animator and I will see you guys next time good Oh.